hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Kaylin. if you're new here welcome hi how are you i hope you're good so welcome back to another jasmine eye video i am excited scared because i never know how these projects are going to turn out but i'm excited because i'm going to be trying out the marble effect and i'm also going to be doing some silver leaf in jasmine eye today so i'm really excited i have decided to go with black and white again and that's just because i don't have much pigments i only have three pigments so i have red brown and black and that's pretty much it hopefully i can get some more pigments soon and um I, I have just i have so much like planned in my head i just have so much like ideas that i want to try out but anyway, I think that's enough of me ranting on. Let's just go ahead and do this because like I'm I'm nervous and I, I, I'm excited and I want to see how it comes out. I think I'm just, I'm, I'm rambling on. Let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is protect my surface with a piece of wax paper. You don't have to use wax paper. You can use um, newspaper, silicone mats if you have one or plastic will work as well. As long as it's something to protect your surface. And I do highly recommend this because when jasmineite cures on a surface you didn't mean to get it on, it's really hard to get off. So I do highly recommend just uh, protecting your surface. I'm also just gathering my supplies and getting them ready and within reach because when you're working with jasmineite, you don't have a lot of time before it sets. It typically takes about 30 minutes to set. 30 minutes to 40 minutes, I'd say. So I'm using an alternative to Jasmineite. I am not using AC100 or the Jasmineite that is manufactured in the UK. I just refer to it as Jasmineite because it's sort of known by that name. I use acrylic resin and Jasmineite interchangeably, but they pretty much mean the same thing. So don't let that confuse you. So I got my acrylic resin from Bijou Accessories. If you're in South Africa, you can check out her Facebook page. She has a whole bunch of great art and craft goodies. So I'm going to um, measure out my jasmineite and mine is a one to two ratio. Yours might be different. So always make sure you're getting the correct measurements or sorry, the correct ratio from your supplier. So basically it's a one part liquid and two parts powder. It's important you measure this out correctly or your jasmineite won't set. I also like to add in a little powder at a time so that mixing is easier and to avoid forming lumps. this idea in mind and I also got a lot of inspiration from Instagram I wanted to kind of create a two-tone coaster with silver leaf in the middle and do the marble effect as well so for the two-tone coaster which I'm doing now I had to split my jasmineite into two separate jugs to create the contrasting colors you'll see I'll also add in the silver leaf using a tweezer and just brushing over the foil with my finger to get it to stick to the base of the mold. To create the two-tone effect, I made sure I, pour, I poured uh, both colors in at the same time in the center of the mold. I created some squiggles at the end using my popsicle stick. I thought that looked really cool.
you'll see that I'm just lightly tapping my molds uh, just to get any air bubbles out. I normally pour a little in at a time and then I tap the mold to get the air bubbles out and then I'll pour the rest in. But because I was doing a different technique, I kind of just poured it all in at once. Um, so now I'm just kind of just tapping the mold to get all of the air bubbles out. I find that this is the best way to get rid of air bubbles. You won't, you probably won't get rid of all of them, but you'll get rid of most of them. Um, you can't really torch jasmineite. It's, it's not really like resin. So yeah, I find that this is the best way to get rid of them. Now I'm doing my next two coasters and I wanted to do the marble effect for these two coasters. So this is really simple and it's a lot of fun and the results are absolutely stunning. So again, I'm just going to measure out some more jasmineite. This time I did add a little bit more um, because I didn't make enough jasmineite in the beginning. So I measured out about, I think it was a 300 gram mixture for both of these coasters. It was a little bit too much, um, but I will show you in a little bit what I do with the extra jasmineite. So for the marble effect, all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of pigment onto a popsicle stick and just swirl that around in the jasmineite. You don't wanna mix it into the jasmineite because it will change color and then the marble effect will be ruined. So just lightly um, move your stick around in the jasmineite and that is it, we're done. We're ready to pour it into the mold. So um, I did add a little bit too much pigment, but I still like the look in the end. But if you're going for a more subtle look, then you really only need to add a very little bit of pigment, like really a little bit of pigment. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, a little really does go a long way. After this, I had quite a lot of acrylic resin left, so I mixed in some more black pigments and decided to use that extra jasmineite to make terrazzo chips. So I have a piece of acetate here, and all I'm going to do is lay down a layer of jasmineite and spread it over the acetate with my popsicle stick. Terrazzo chips are generally very thin, I'd say about a millimeter or so. Uh, don't spread it out too thin or it will, be, it will just crumble into dust. Uh, but you don't want it super thick either because that can make your mixtures uh, super chunky. Once that's done, I'm going to set it aside and let that cure along with my coasters. So yeah, comes the fun and scary part. <laughs> and yeah, is the debolding of the coasters. So I was a little bit nervous because I never know how it's going to look and how it's going to turn out. But when I started demolding it, I got so excited. So you'll see I'm demolding the two-tone coaster and not all of the silver leaf transferred with the jasmineite, um, which was fine. I was kind of like not expecting that, um, but it, it was fine. It still looked really, really pretty. It's kind of like an abstract sort of look. And I, I love abstract stuff. I think it just looks really cool. The shine of the silver also so just it just looked really really pretty and then the one that really i really loved was the marble effect one so it's just so pretty oh my gosh i can't get over it <laughs> so i really want to try these coasters again well at least the marble effect one um i kind of want to create a more subtle one to see how it comes out and i also want to try and have a pure white base so kind of like add um white pigment to the base and then add in the other pigment for the marble effect um i think that will really create a subtle look um but i think they turned out so beautiful and now I'm going to go and sand them. Um, I'm not going to sand the whole coaster. I kind of just want to sand the edges so that it's not super sharp. And then I'm also going to seal it at the end. Okay, so I have my power tool here. And I initially put on one of the drill bits, not the drill bits. Sorry, I put on the stone. It's like a stone sort of thingy my bobby i don't know i don't know the proper name for it but i put that on and i went to try and sand the edges and that didn't really work so i uh swapped out that 
but for a sanding like a little the little sanding one that I have and that worked a lot better so I'm just going to sand the edges you don't have to have a power tool for this you can even use a nail file um, if you just want to sand the edges uh, a nail file will also work perfectly fine you don't always have to sand jasmineite I don't I don't like sanding so I try to avoid it where I can um, but you can definitely sand jasmineite if you want to um, preferably you start from a lower grit and then you'd go to a higher grit sandpaper but uh, for these coasters I didn't think it was necessary I just kind of wanted to sand down the edges just so that it's not too sharp Okay, so now I am going to seal my coasters using a uh, Krylon matte finish. You can also use the gloss one if you want to. Uh, I like matte, I like a matte look, so I decided to use this one. And I'm going to shake it up really, really well, and then I'm going to add a few coats on my coasters. So I think I added about three coats to the front and the back of my coasters. And I waited about 10 minutes in between each coat. And then I waited for them to dry really well. I think about, I waited like 20 minutes. They say it's ready to handle um, in like two hours. So you can wait two hours if you want to. I was, I was too excited. <laughs> so I um, just waited 20 minutes and it was pretty dry. So I thought it was okay. Uh, so this is how I seal my coasters. Uh, you also get acrylic sealer from for specifically made for jasmineite, but I really don't like to use that because it leaves a whole bunch of streaks and I'm just not a fan of that. So I just like to use the spray varnishes, uh, which I find work a lot better. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You are the bomb.com. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I am planning to do some trinket trays and things like that with Jasmineite. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But I will see you guys in the next craft video. Have a good one. Bye.